American Ginseng, Wikipedia article audio. American ginseng is a herbaceous perennial plant in the ivy family, commonly used as Chinese or traditional medicine. It is native to eastern North America, though it is also cultivated in China. Description Traditional medicine Adverse effects Production Consumption Chemical components Pharmacokinetics Society and culture Distribution Endangered status History As of 2018, there is little to no evidence that ginseng is effective against the common cold. The plant's root and leaves were traditionally used for medicinal purposes by Native Americans. Since the 18th century, the roots have been collected by sang hunters and sold to Chinese or Hong Kong traders, who often pay high prices for particularly old wild roots. It is also known by its Chinese name Huakishan or Ziangshan. The aromatic root of American ginseng resembles a small parsnip that forks as it matures. The plant grows 6 to 18 tall, usually bearing three leaves, each with three to five leaflets, two to five long. There is no evidence that American ginseng is effective in those infected with the common cold. When used preventively it makes no difference on the rate of infections. It also appears to have no effect on how severe the infections are. There is tentative evidence that it may lessen the length of sickness when used preventively. Ginsenosids, phytochemicals of the Panax species, are being studied for potential biological properties. Individuals requiring anticoagulant therapy such as warfarin should avoid use of ginseng. It is not recommended for individuals with impaired liver or renal function, or during pregnancy or breastfeeding. Other adverse effects include, headaches, anxiety, trouble sleeping and an upset stomach. Recent studies have shown that through the many cultivated procedures that American ginseng is grown, fungal molds, pesticides, and various metals and residues have contaminated the crop. Though these contaminating effects are not considerably substantial, they do pose health concerns that could lead to neurological problems, intoxication, cardiovascular disease, and cancer. American ginseng was formerly particularly widespread in the Appalachian and Ozark regions, due to its popularity and unique habitat requirements. The wild plant has been over-harvested, as well as lost through destruction of its habitat, and is thus rare in most parts of the United States and Canada. Ginseng is also negatively affected by deer browsing, urbanization, and habitat fragmentation. It can also be grown commercially, under artificial shade, woods cultivated, or wild simulated methods and is usually harvested after three to four years depending on cultivation technique, the wild simulated method often requires up to ten years before harvest. Ontario, Canada is the world's largest producer of North American ginseng. Marathon County, Wisconsin, accounts for about 95% of production in the United States. Most American ginseng is produced in the Canadian provinces of Ontario and British Columbia and the American state of Wisconsin. Woods grown American ginseng programs in Vermont, Maine, Tennessee, Virginia, North Carolina, Colorado, West Virginia, and Kentucky, have been encouraging the planting of ginseng both to restore natural habitats and to remove pressure from any remaining wild ginseng. American Ginseng in Human Figure Under Wooden Shade, American Ginseng in Late Fall at Monk Garden in Wisconsin 
A picture of the American ginseng plant with fruit. American ginseng berries are ripe by late fall in Wisconsin. A drawn image of the fruit and leaf of the American ginseng plant. A drawn image of the American ginseng plant's leaves. American wild ginseng root. This is a very old specimen, showing over 60 growth scars. American wild ginseng root. Very old roots, ranging from 40-60 growth scars. American wild ginseng root. This is a very old specimen, showing over 60 growth scars. American wild ginseng root. Very old roots, ranging from 40-65 growth scars. Since the 18th century, American ginseng has been primarily exported to Asia, where it is highly valued for perceived superior quality and sweet taste. Like Panax ginseng, American ginseng contains damarane-type ginsenosids, or saponins, as the major biologically active constituents. Damarane-type ginsenosids include two classifications, 20 protopanagsatiol and 20 protopanagsatriol. American ginseng contains high levels of RB1, RD, and re ginsenosids higher than that of P. ginseng in one study. When taken orally, PPD type ginsenosids are mostly metabolized by intestinal bacteria to PPD monoglucoside, 20 obeta D glucopyranosyl 20 protopanagsatiol. In humans, M1 is detected in plasma from 7 hours after intake of PPD-type ginsenosids and in urine from 12 hours after intake. These findings indicate M1 is the final metabolite of PPD-type ginsenosids. M1 is referred to in some articles as IH901, and in others as compound K. Cold FX is a product derived from the roots of North American ginseng. The makers of Cold FX were criticized for making health claims about the product that have never been tested or verified scientifically. Health Canada's review of the scientific literature confirmed that this is not a claim that the manufacturer is entitled to make. American ginseng can be found in much of the eastern and central United States and in part of southeastern Canada. It is found primarily in deciduous forests of the Appalachian and Ozark regions of the United States. American ginseng is found in full shade environments in these deciduous forests underneath hardwoods. Due to this very specialized growing environment and its demand in the commercial market it has started to reach an endangered status in some areas. It can be found throughout eastern Canada and the northeastern United States. In the United States, American ginseng is generally not listed as an endangered species, but it has been declared as a part of the endangered species scale by some states. States recognizing American ginseng as endangered, Maine, Rhode Island. States recognizing American ginseng as vulnerable, New York, Pennsylvania. States recognizing American ginseng as threatened, Michigan, New Hampshire, Virginia. States recognizing American ginseng as a special concern, Connecticut, Massachusetts. North Carolina, Tennessee. Originally, American ginseng was imported into China via subtropical Guangzhou, the seaport next to Hong Kong. Since American ginseng was originally imported into China via a subtropical seaport, Chinese doctors believed American ginseng must be good for Yang, because it came from a hot area. They did not know however, that American ginseng can only grow in temperate regions. Nonetheless, the root is legitimately classified as more yin because it generates fluids. <laughs>